Here's how to create a logo in ReCraft. First, on the left side, click on Image. Then, also on the left side, you can adjust the image ratio here if necessary, but usually a ratio of one by one is desirable when creating logos. So we just leave that as it is. Then on top here, you can also change the dimensions of the logo. So if you would like to have a high resolution, for example, you could change this to something like 4096 by 4096 pixels. Next, let us choose the style for our logo. So we click right here. And as we want to go with a logo, we will do this in vector art. So make sure to hover over vector art right here and then click on apply. On top of that, we have currently set that here to two images, so only two images will be generated. If you would like to generate four images at a time, you can easily change that right here. Now we are ready to enter our logo prompt. Let's keep it simple and let's just write a logo for a ballet company. At the bottom, click on recraft. Now let's see what we get. And this actually looks pretty cool. Let us have a look at the other results as well. So I just click here. So this is the second result, the third result, and the last result. I personally prefer the second image right here. Now, what is really cool with ReCraft is that whenever you choose vector art right here for the style, then you truly get editable vector graphics, because this is something that other AI image generator softwares at the current moment cannot do. For example, the ever popular Midjourney or also Ideogram, both of these, they cannot do this. So ReCraft is doing a pretty amazing job with that here. So now that we have our logo right here, let's edit it a little bit. And here on the left side, you can currently see number of colors and it says 11. We can now just use this fader right here and very easily reduce the amount of colors just like that. So we could keep it extremely simple and now we just have three colors and all the other elements that used other colors are now just gone, which can be great because like this, the logo is actually much more elegant in my case. When we go back to 11 colors like this, the logo is really overloaded with stuff and it doesn't really look that nice. So reducing that to three colors and then just ending up with something like this is actually pretty cool. On top of that, because it's an editable vector graphic, you can now also change the colors of this vector real quick. All you need to do is to click on one of these colors right here. And then here on top, when spectrum here is selected, you can then just click on the color right here and you can then adjust the color to your liking. Just move this fader right here. And then on top, put it to the exact color that you want. As you can see now, this only changed the outline of our ballet lady here, but the color for elegance ballet is still the same. So if you would like to adjust that as well, we would come here to swatches on the left side and there you will find this gray color square. And when you click on that, we can now do the same for the text as well by again using this fader right here first and then make more precise adjustments right here. And just like that, we change the color of the text as well, as well as her hair. You will then find even more options. For example, here you can choose from some color palettes. Simply click on these and they will be applied immediately to your logo. On top of that, right here in the middle, you can also define your own color palette in case you have a specific color palette in mind. So that's pretty amazing. Now let us reset our logo for a second. We can do that by clicking here on the reset button. And there's one more important thing that I would like to show you now. Once you're done adjusting your logo in ReCraft, you can then actually go to export in the upper right corner of the screen and you can then save your logo as a vector graphic. And the way you do that is by clicking here on SVG. So if you want to save your logo as an editable vector graphic, you have to make sure to choose SVG and not something like PNG or JPEG here. So I click here on SVG. And here we have that file now on our computer. Now the amazing thing is that you can actually open up this SVG graphic in a vector graphic software such as Adobe Illustrator. So let me just quickly do that. So I right click on it and then I choose here Adobe Illustrator 2025. And here's our lovely logo now in Adobe Illustrator. And now as it is an editable vector graphic, you can actually separately adjust any element of this graphic. And that's really, really exciting and very convenient. So for example, if you don't like this element right here, just click on it and remove it. Same with that one right here. And also if you don't like the text, for example, just click on it and remove it very, very easily. Also, when you open up the layers panel like this, you will then see all the different layers that are part of our vector graphic. But wait, what if you don't have Adobe Illustrator? Because after all, Adobe Illustrator is not free, is it? That's completely right, it is not free. However, I have great news for you guys. If you want to edit this vector graphic completely for free and online, all you need to do is to go to photop.com, then in the top left corner of the screen, click on file, then go to open, select the logo on your computer, click on open, your logo will then appear and it's now completely editable for free for you as well. Photop works in a very, very similar way than Adobe Photoshop and also Adobe Illustrator. So if you're at least a little bit familiar with Adobe software, then it will also be very easy for you to figure out how to use Photop. And that's it guys. This is how you create a logo in ReCraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more ReCraft tutorials.